that will take a lot of energy to keep a facility this size humming. And backup power is what Mark needs to keep his company up and running. That's why I turned to Kohler Generators and Ed Del Grande to provide the right size generator for backup power if the need should arise. So Ed, what do you think are some preliminary guidelines when choosing the correct generator for your space? Well, the biggest guideline, and we can take a look in here, Kaylin, is make sure it's sized correctly. Now, these are not do-it-yourself projects, obviously. So you want to go to a place like colagenerators.com. They'll set you up with a dealer who'll let you know the size you need. So Ed, walk me through the process of installation for our commercial generator. Usually it starts with the landscaping, the trenching, because they do run on natural gas or propane gas lines, so you usually have to bury those underground, and then you can start work on the concrete pad. That has to be big enough and strong enough to hold a big commercial generator, and with the residential generators, usually we can get manpower to move them in place, but as you know, with big commercial stuff, we needed a crane to put this one on the pad. So now talk to me about how we actually turn the building on in case of a storm or a hurricane here in South Florida. Well, Kaylin, that's another great thing about the COLA standby generators. It's all automatic. Inside the building, you'll have an automatic transfer switch. It's always on standby, and that's how you get the name standby generator. And when it senses there's no power at the street, it'll automatically switch the circuits over, stop the generator, and within eight to 10 seconds, you'll have that building up and running. And with a generator this size, you won't notice the difference. So let's say there's a hurricane and power's knocked out here in South Florida for two weeks. How long is this generator gonna last? Another great thing about being natural gas or propane fuel that's uh, running these generators, usually can handle any length of uh, power that's out. So everybody will be in this corporate office getting coffee when there's no coffee anywhere else Well, you know what, I know we, we're kind of joking about that, but this is a, yeah, a, a true. true serious point. Yeah. Once you have standby power, whether it's for residential use or commercial use, you're now a safe haven and you can help people in your neighborhood. That's so right. that's no joke. So with the Kohler automatic generator in place and for Evergreen, adding the finishing touch by planting bushes and laying sod around this backup power site, we truly have green energy lying in wait amidst this green landscape.